What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina and today's video is going to be another search and recovery dive. However, I'm going to commentate through it and show you a couple of different techniques that we use when we're doing search and recovery dives. Now this dive was kind of special because I was able to actually take a student out with me during her advanced adventure course and we just happened to be doing her search adventure dive or her search and recovery adventure dive when we received a call to go for a lost item in the lake. So we headed out we set up the dive of course and we had a very quick very successful search but she was able to utilize some of the skills that she had learned during her advanced adventure dive or the search and recovery adventure dive and she was very successful in locating the lost objects so take a quick look and i'll give you some final thoughts so the first thing we're going to do of course is set up a reference line and i'm just simply using a finger spool and about a three pound weight and since we are working in an overhead environment, it's always nice to have a reference line uh, to be able to make it back to the surface or even to help us with the search itself, which is what I'm setting this one up for. And basically, I just dropped it. I can utilize this. I can use it to make sure I know what my depth is, but I can also utilize it as a starting point or as a reference point to my search area. And now that I've got that set up, of course, we're going to do our pre-dive safety check, finish gearing up, and we're going to jump in. Once we're in the water, I'm going to give uh, my student a couple little last minute suggestions as far as how to make a descent, stuff like that. And then we're going to actually let her conduct her own search. Now one thing I want you to make quick note of, if you'll notice our reference line is up inside the dock system itself and unfortunately we can't make our descent there and with two of us it's going to be too tight so you're going to see here in a minute we're going to use a secondary reference line and a navigational heading to help us out. So we're going to basically, we see our reference point there be a little tight for both me and you to get there and go inverted so we're going to drop down here all right but i also want to look forward at whatever direction i'm going i'm going to set my little compass up it's almost due south and the reason i want to do that is because there should be a slight incline here even if there's not let's say it's flat i can still tell which way to swim based off my compass heading and we can swim directly into it we're already about eight foot within that radius so basically what I explained to her was we're going to use the dock pole as our new reference point. However, we are going to take a compass heading to know which direction to swim. Now, I was able to measure the depth with the original reference point, which happened to be 8 feet, and we're roughly 8 feet away. So we're within our search radius, so hopefully that will help us during this search. All right, guys, as we make our descent here, we're actually going to make a head first descent. Last thing that we want to do is get our feet touching the bottom and, of course, stirring it up. So as soon as I go submerged, I basically go inverted. Uh, we use the secondary reference point, which is the dock pole, to kind of uh, make a, a slow, safe descent. Um, but then we picked up our compass from our initial navigational heading this way that we will know which way to swim once we're under the water. And so we're going to start our dive or start our search based off the navigational heading. Uh, first thing that we're going to come across, of course, is our initial reference point. You'll see the line um, attached to the weight here in a minute. And then, of course, we find the glasses. Now, once again, this was a very, very easy search. It's about eight foot deep. Uh, was already within that eight foot radius even using the secondary reference point of the pole but it was a very easy surge of course i let the student actually recover the glasses but um very easy search but once again all the different steps there's a reference line you can see all these different steps that we use we used the initial reference point that way we knew how deep it was plus it gave us a, a reference area to start the search once we went under there um, of course there i'm giving my students some positive um 
encouragement, if you will, or reinforcement that she did a good job. But um, we used every everything that we could to make sure that we had a safe and successful search to locate our customer's sunglasses. So as you can see guys, Miss Danielle was very, very successful in finding these sunglasses that she was looking for. Uh, couple pointers is always set up some type of reference line, especially if you're going to be in that overhead type environment, which, you know, a dock and a boat can be an overhead environment for you. Always get some type of navigational heading to begin with. That'll help you once you've made your descent and you've reached the bottom, it'll kind of help you be able to reference where you're at and which way you need to swim into. And don't forget your drops. Whatever the depth is, it's also going to be your search radius, and it'll make your dives much more successful. But guys, I appreciate you watching this video. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer it the best I can. As always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.